So the other day I was playing The Last of Us, and I got to the part with Tommy, and I encountered this cute little pooch. So I says to myself, I says, I says, who's the pooch? Turns out Billy Joel was thinking the same thing, because he pulled a button prompt out of his ass to let me get down and dirty on that doggy. Tommy pipes in, he's like, oh, that's Buckley. Doesn't make for much of a guard dog, but he's good to have around. Joel says, good boy. And that's it. Really? We're just gonna pull away from this Buckley situation after playing all these dog-related questions in my head? What kind of dog is Buckley? What are his favorites? It's treats. Do people have cute nicknames for Buckley, such as Uncle Buck, Bucky the Vampire Slayer, Buckle Up, it's a fucking dog. And this right here is my problem. This is why I don't sleep. This is why I wish video games sometimes were actually just dogs. Because if I can't actually interact with the dogs in these goddamn video games, I may as well just be playing a real dog. Well, there's not fucking naughty. Now this is only one of many examples of dogs being teleported into the cyber realm, but this goddamn Buckley incident pushed me over the edge, so now I'm gonna talk about dogs in video games for an entire video. Dogs have been featured in some pretty big games, you know, Call of Duty dedicated an entire franchise to dogs, Kane and Lynch 2 was all about the, a day in the life of a dog, and apparently Fable 2 had a dog in it, but I never played that game. What? But what kind of purpose can a dog have in a video game other than being euthanized by a vampire veterinarian? Also, vampire veterinarian sounds like the title of a pretty sick video game. And I don't mean games like Nintendogs that are purely focused around a dog because that's not very engaging and also I got a fucking... I got PSP, I don't got a fucking DS. I'm talking about how dogs have been incorporated into other genres like action adventure stealth PGs and how we can improve on their addition to the interactive storytelling realm. Like Resident Evil 4 had a dog of the wolf variant that you could free that would later bless you with his presence once again, but the Buckley stops there. I can't tell him which one of us is a good boy, I can't pet him, I can't give him a mixed herb to increase his max HP, this is lackluster, this is bogus. I want you to take me home. On the dog scale of video games, this kind of dog feature gets a bad boy out of good boy for just straight teasing me. Some games let you have a sidekick in the key of D, such as Grand Theft Auto V, which was a welcome improvement. You can cruise around with the dog, you can play fetch with the dog, you can murder Suey with the dog. This was a pretty good dog. Except two things. You can't take the dog with you on most dumbass story missions, so he's barely integrated into the game mechanics. You can't pet the damn dog! Just let me pet these damn dogs! Metal Gear Solid 5 took the obvious next step in dog technologies, letting you pet the dog. As well as providing a variety of incentives to bring this little cutie with you. Letting you spend some quality time with his overpowered game-breaking ass. <laughs> see, this this is the kind of stuff I like to see. This is this is a glimpse into the endless possibilities of incorporating dogs into digital playgrounds. But then the narrative barely uses the damn dog and instead focus on this stupid naked girl with her stupider dumbass friends. I hated those boss fights. I just want a story that focuses on building a relationship with a dog. I don't care about some convoluted plotline featuring butt cheeks over here with a fucking cowboy hat. Fallout 4 also did the dog companion thing where you could grab your stuff, carry stuff, murder stuff, do cool tricks. But two things. Along with breaking the game and disappearing all the time, you can't pet the damn dog. What the fuck? I thought we got over this whole not petting dogs thing. Breath of the Wild. It has dogs, you can feed the dogs, you can play with the dogs, but you still can't pet the dogs. Like imagine The Last of Us. Same plot, same premise, same setup, except Sarah and Ellie are both border collies. Like seriously, what if a dog was immune to the virus instead of an Ellen Page looking ass and you gotta make a cross country road trip? with a little cute border collie. And at first, like, you hate this fucking dog. It's This dog is the worst, but slowly over time you start developing this relationship with this very good girl because she reminds you of another very good girl that got shot by a very, very bad boy. <laughs> but seriously, dogs can carry some, some pretty powerful emotional impact. Like, what if you were in a game and you had to save your dog from some dog-eating people who are gonna eat your dog? Or like make it a I am legend type of situation where it's just a man and his dog against a world of you. Oh shit. If movies were games, I am legend. Let's stop talking about this now. Point is, let's get more dogs incorporated into games. We've made some great strides, especially when you could pet the dog, but I think we could do better. Don't just have the dog be a cute little gimmick tacked onto the game. Build the game around the relationship of a person and their best friend and 
what the two of them are capable of doing together. Maybe it's a survival type game where you gotta build shelter and fight animals to survive, but instead of killing wild dogs, you could befriend them and train them and build a couple dog houses, snuggle them up at night. If a game like this already exists, please let me know, and I'm sorry I didn't know about the dog game. Or maybe a game takes place in Alaska, and you could train and develop a relationship with some Siberian Huskies to be sled dogs so you could get around the map faster, like a like a Cuba Gooding Jr. situation. Oh shit, if movies were games, snow dogs. Uh, don't just let me kill the dogs, let me befriend the dogs, let me protect the dogs. Let me spend some quality time with a good boy or a good girl in a game that goes all in on incorporating dogs into its game world. You know, we keep trying to have better graphics and more realistic AI for human characters and facial animations and dialogue, which is all good and dandy, but I think gaming could use a nice injection of the magic and spiritual guidance of our beloved four-legged friends. Let's hear it for the dogs. Let's hear it for the dogs. Pass some doggies with your hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's hear it for my puppies. You know they wanna just be pet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, petting all these doggies, oh. I just wanna pet them slow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's hear it for the dogs. Let's hear it for the dogs now. Yes, about the fucking dogs.